That's right, boys. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. I was looking at the viewfinder around right? and trying to make sure the audios are good. Uh, PW Insider says Sheamus is scheduled to be back out on the road with WWE as of this coming Friday night's episode of SmackDown. Great. Next, per Brian Alvarez, WWE is planning to do some crazy things in the War Games match at Survivor Series, in part because they need new footage for video packages. Great, 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 great. Hey, yeah, hold this. This is on fire. Also, it weighs like 35 pounds. I know, but just, okay, now pretend to put it in your mouth. Huh, huh? what? Yeah, just, you know, it's a big, just, just do, go like this, twirl it around and then beat someone over the head with it. What is that going to do? It'll make for great B-roll. Just shut up and do it, you know? Next, Ringside News claims they have someone within WWE saying that Austin Theory's failed Money in the Bank cash-in wasn't to take him out of the picture, and there's actually optimism about him backstage. Because anyone and everyone who thought that Austin Theory was getting shafted by Triple H just because he used to work for Vince McMahon is dumb and stupid in the head. You're dumb and stupid and ugly in the head. Next, Wrestling Observer Newsletter's Dave Meltzer heard that a match at Full Gear 2022 between the Elite and Death Triangle for the AEW World Trios titles is probable, but not 100%. The Elite are going to win the titles back. Mark my words, the Elite are going to win the titles back. I don't know if it's going to happen at Full Gear. I don't know when it's going to happen, but the Elite are going to win the titles back. There's a potential chance that maybe it's going to happen after Full Gear, but that those Trios titles were made for them. Kind of ironic that they waited up until Kenny Omega came back to do the trios titles thing, and then they are the first ones to get it. So, yeah, I mean, it it, it makes sense that uh, you know they would get it back. The only issue is just how soon they're gonna get it back. I don't I don't actually know. So really, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to wait and see. Finally, Wrestling Observer Newsletter on themed WWE pay-per-views. Regarding rumors of concept changes in pay-per-views next year, the only thing we were told was a general rule there will be less themed pay-per-views. That's it. So regarding the themed pay-per-view, uh-huh. <laughs> So regarding rumors of concept changes in pay-per-view next year, uh-huh. The only thing we were told is the general rule there will be less themed ones. Okay. So the thing about the themed pay-per-view is that there's not going to be that many theme pay-per-views regarding the concept of the theme pay-per-views. There's not going to be that many of them. Okay, well, yeah, fair enough. Good point. Uh, wow, I really fucking went straight through these rumors, but I mean, there's not... Okay, Sheamus is scheduled to be back out on the road with WWE. Great. I mean, he's not really in a program, but I assume he's going to be in a program. Um, I, I mean, that's pretty much it. He was already a contender for the IC title. I mean, you could be a contender for the tag team, but they were already contenders for the tag team championship. So, I mean, I don't, I'm just glad that he's back on the road. Oh, because he got married. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Right? Because Drew was there, and so was uh, Cesaro. It was Sheamus. That's right. Because he's getting married. That's right. Okay. I remember that. Um, crazy things. Who had war games. When is war games, by the way? I, don't, I actually don't know when that is, to be honest. So, we're going to have to... Wait and see when that's going to happen. I like the crazy things. That makes me worry. I mean, what more crazy things than you can you do by besides a Tower of Doom, somebody leaping off of the cage inside of a trash can onto people, you know, uh, Pat McAfee doing a moonsault, two Tower of Dooms happening at the same time, you know, in different sides of the ring. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I don't know what more crazy things you can do. I already talked to... I already talk to death about the Austin Theory thing for the like you guys are you guys are idiots man you guys are uh, not all of you for the very the, the 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 majority of you that are that already know that it wouldn't make any sense for Triple H to shaft Austin Theory and I keep saying that because I can't think of any other words to say and I don't want this video to get demonetized or you know a six out of ten all because I said the f word you know so I, it just, it just doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense, and I don't know how many more times I can, I can explain that. Um, yeah, they said the Elite versus the Death Triangle for the AEW World Trios title is probable, but not 100%. I mean, I, again, I already said it. They're more than likely going to win the Trios titles back. I already spoke enough on that. And they're not going to have team pay-per-views anymore. We already talked about that. I mean, that wasn't even a rumor. That was just a thing. They were going to do less team pay-per-views, so... 
That's pretty much it, to be fairly honest with you. This episode, yeah, I'm okay, flew straight by, all right? I mean, listen, sometimes the rumors uh, have a lot of speculation and conjecture and whatnot, and we can really talk about it for a really long time. And sometimes the rumors are just, you know, right then and there. I mean, they tell you, it says exactly what it says on the tin, you know, so there's not really much else I can say. So, boys, I mean, there's nothing else to do but end the episode, really. I mean, that's pretty much it. So, what do we talk about? I mean, I already repeated everything, so there's no reason going through it again. So, on that note, I really love you guys enjoyed this episode because I certainly enjoyed making it. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.